Ross here. Oh, yeah, it's guy Ross. I was like, choose the rich one because he comes here, he buys his own shit. <laughs> Hey, Bodhi, come here. Bodhi, come. Hey. Pretty sure this is a foxhound. Hey Garrett, you think that's a foxhound? I haven't exactly invited him yet. It must be a foxhound. Oh, it's yours? Oh, okay. Nice, I have not seen one up here before. Did he come from California? Or? Uh, I think he was from uh, Kentucky or Tennessee. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. What's his name? Woody. Woody, uh, okay. Yeah, baby, yeah, it was uh, a young, young baby. He had a burn on his back. Oh, yeah. oh burn. It's like the whole thing was all uh, open. Oh, so man. Down. This thing, thing growing back. Down. It was okay. a lot worse before. So you wow. Him? Yeah, both of them again. What's this one's name? Zora. Zora. She's a pit, uh, pit lab. A pit lab, okay, okay, wow. Do you know their ages or? Uh, no, I think she's uh, six or seven, maybe. Okay. They told us she was a lot younger. They took to the vet. They said they couldn't tell. Oh, you I see. Tell exactly. She was older than what they told us. Oh, okay. And this one is. Three or four. Okay. Does he have like a strong hunting instinct? Okay. Oh, really? Wow. That's messed up. Oh, really? Wow. So do you know, do you know if he's an American foxhound or an English foxhound? Okay, because I, I think the English are like, aren't they shorter or more stockier? I think they're, I think they're shorter. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty good on like, squirrels and possums and stuff like that. Oh, really, really? Oh, okay. Right, right. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So during COVID, we went there and just were out in the soccer field and everything. And he found a, just kind of let him run. 
Well, you see this field? I'm sorry, Gary. Uh, uh, you see this field right here? That's completely fenced in. Okay. Yeah, so if you want to get in there, you just walk between the baseball field and the tennis courts. Uh -huh. There's a gate. You just go in and close it behind you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are there, aren't there a lot of gopher holes? You know what? I think they killed a lot of those gophers. Now, the only thing, there is a brick wall over there uh, by the school, yeah. and it might go down to maybe four and a half, five feet. Oh, okay. So I don't know if he's, he would jump that or, or what, but but yeah, all of this is fenced in and it's it's great. You know, a lot of room for him to run. Yeah, we live just on uh, the Market Alley. Okay. okay. Yeah. We'll go in. Okay, cool. I've been there. Let him run around. Yeah. Good for him, man. He's more of a. He went to the Dog Beach on Saturday. Okay. He's he's much more of a lonely life. We let her off. We'll go and. Mess around with other dogs in the hills, just like feline or wherever there aren't dogs. Yeah. Some surprise, he's just kind of standing here. But normally he's just like, yeah, he's walking, he's walking. Now you said he was, you said he was burned. Do you know how he got burned? No, just when we got him, we got the, uh, they said when they got him from the shelter that they picked him up from in Tennessee, yeah, Kentucky, he had to get him. <laughs> wow. He took him to, uh, he took like a, a I bus the out there, load of a bunch of dogs and drive him back. Okay. And then they take him, um, so I mean, they took him to like UC Irvine, and they had okay. the Oh wow. right there and they like, did all his shots and deworming and okay. like, did some stuff on his back. Wow. Like, we got a quote once to... One vet was like, oh, you can get a skin graft. It'll only be like $10,000. Ah! Whoa. <laughs> Dang. Only? It's not, it's not bothering him. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. wearing a, like, he wears a cone a lot. Yeah. We'll kind of let him heal up and then put the cone on and go back. Yeah. yeah. He gets tired and then he gets busy. Yeah. I was going to say earlier, there's um, my fiance's like family friend. There's a place um, kind of like on the other side of the mountains. I forgot what city it's in. Um, but they have like a dog, a cattle dog training facility. Oh, wow. And you can actually take, they took their um, Australian Shepherd there and you can just, they'll, they'll do like a free training session where you can just like let your dog go. And first, your dog watch their dog. And then you can let your dog go in with them and just like see how they manage to do like, yeah, yeah. But they'll give you like a rating on how your dog did, how like oh wow, um, like natural rating, and then like something else. And then they actually train dogs there too. I want to take him to see how he does, but I'm, he's just gonna run right up to the damn cow and get kicked in the head. So oh like, ah, god! I don't know yeah. if I want to do that. <laughs> But I thought it would be pretty cool. Yeah. We were watching the Warrior Weekend. Vesper! What? Vesper! You gotta explain to me why she was jumping up and down. Look, what's with the jumping up and down?
Okay, what, you want me to play tug of war with you, huh? Okay, there you go. You're out? Okay. Take care. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Oh, you want me to play tug of war with you some more, huh? Oh my gosh, you gotta find somebody else, Bodie. You gotta find somebody else. Oh, ow. Okay, he whacked me with the rope. Right on my hand. Yes, go find someone else. All right. So your dog gets to eat alligator? Yeah, and then really? he has alligator, alligator treats. That's the house. Um, not that, not much more expensive than like Purina or whatever. Um, um, I don't know. I'll take a picture of it and bring it back. Leah, yeah, one at a time. Does the alligator come from Florida or what? Probably, yeah. Yeah, let go. Or like Missouri or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course Louisiana has. Louisiana has alligators. I think Georgia has alligators too, oh, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Maybe uh, Alabama also. Hey, so does Arnold ever crawl into your lap? Okay, how do you get up? Exactly, I mean, if he doesn't want to move, it's like, how do you get him off? Man, is it like a two-man job to get him off? <laughs> and then the thing is, how does, like, how do your legs not fall asleep, too? Uh, by the way, can you lift him? No? Have you tried? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I think we, maybe we said last time, maybe he's about 120. Yeah. Man. If I like kind of pick him up by his neck first with a leash and then maybe hoist him up by his neck, maybe. Yeah. Because I would think, okay, maybe like the ideal way to lift him would be like, okay, the way that he's standing right now, 
and then like you drop down and you do like a forklift yeah. right next to his like his oh, front like legs it. and his rear like legs it. yeah exactly like that exactly i'm thinking that's like the only way of course teddy weighs what like 50 pounds 75. oh 75 yeah what i didn't expect him to weigh that much Maybe because I'm used to my dog. My dog is pretty skinny. He's only 60 pounds. He's got a lot in his like chest area. Okay. For, so I, I call it his muscle, but he's he's got a little bit of fat on him. I see. Yeah. But yeah, lifting Arlo, that'd be like power lifting basically. Probably need to put on a belt and everything. He probably only weighs what, 120? Yeah. But still, that's a dog. So yeah. Sometimes the weight can be awkward. Say hi! Hey, Daddy! So what does Lonnie do all day since she's recovering? Oh, I see. But you said she'll be in the clear... Monday. Monday, okay. So she has her follow-up on Friday to check on the light. Dude, you're so dirty. You just lost Thanks. all your color. Uh, so basically, uh, what you believe happened is she got like some sort of confusion. Maybe like a dog bit or something, right? Yeah, that's and like... Oh, filled up the fluid. And then what, they just cut it open and drained it? Yeah. No, they just drained it with like a needle. Oh. And then okay. it filled up again, but instead of it being fluid, it was like pus. Oh, wow. So, was there an infection or yeah. no? Oh. So, she had to get it get out. Okay. So, I imagine she went on like antibiotics or something. Okay. And you think it happened here? I think it happened when we were in Vegas because she didn't have that like what before I left. She, like, when I got oh. back from Vegas, that's when we saw it. Okay. And it was like the size of what? Like a tennis ball or? or it like was a, a, initially the size of a golf ball, but then it doubled in size to a tennis ball the next day. Yeah. That would, that would explain it, yeah. Although I, I have seen pit bulls, like purebred his size before though. Yeah. It's like the, there's the, those like three different like companies I guess, but they're like dog training and they have these just massive pit bulls. Hey, sit. No, you're done with that. Sit. Shh. Bodhi, sit. No. Sit. No. No. All right, stay.
Okay, so that's going to bring today's video to a close. Bodhi and I, we hope you enjoyed watching. Hopefully we were able to capture something uh, that you enjoyed in this video. If you can, please press the like button. Also leave a comment or question down below. If you leave it kind of short, we will try to include it in a future video. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure your notification bell is on also because more videos are coming soon. Uh, also, a big thanks to everyone who watches the ads that help support Bodhi. Bodhi, sit. Shh. Sit. Sit. Yeah, big thank you to everyone who watches the ads that help support Bodhi and also everyone who's pressed the thanks button and has donated to Bodhi. We appreciate it so much. And also, before we go, we want to read off a few names of people who watched previous videos and left comments. Bark Bros, Rose Verdugo, Diane Farley, Lorna McKenzie, Dirty Dripsky 401, Diane, Kelly Norman, Patricia Proctor, BW, Baba Yoga. Ba excuse me, Baba Yaga. Thank you all so much for watching. So until next time, we hope everyone is doing well, and we hope to see you on the next episode of Bodhi's World. Take care.